These pictures are going around the world. We must make a massive demonstration. White, black, and otherwise. Come to some. I heard about the attack of innocent people. I couldn't just stand by. Looks like an army out there. This revolution goes on and on. This revolution goes on and on. My eyes have seen the glory. 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 Hallelujah. What happens when a man stands up, says enough is enough? Ladies and gentlemen, it's 2015. It's time to follow the tenets of Ditch and Shonen who says, exert yourself in the two ways of practice and study, for without practice and study, there can be no Buddhism. Now, as Buddhism is being taught in America, African Americans are being gained. And what you should do is follow Dr. Martin Luther King. Go see the movie Selma. Maybe you African Americans can get a little inspiration and find a little dignity and pride and culture in yourself and stop being dominated by Japanese. We have a black president of the United States of America, the most powerful man in the world. We black Americans have made great achievements, yet in the world of Buddhism, you take a subordinate position even though the Buddha Shakyamuni was a man of African descent. Let's get into our lecture today and maybe you'll learn something if you got guts enough to listen to Anthony F. Elmore. Most African Americans are not accustomed to having African American Buddhist teachers. Now, what you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, Dasaki Kata, the president of the SGI organization, got rid of the black leaders and he put a lot of African American females in the position because he does not want any alpha males or strong, intelligent African Americans who study, who read, who are dedicated to Buddhism to challenge. Because if you study Buddhism and if you know Buddhism, you would challenge the nonsense that the SGI, Nichiren Joshu, and Nichiren Shu, you would challenge some of the nonsense that's going on. Now, what I want to show you, if you take the time to listen and challenge what we're saying, at least let's get some dialogue. You should ask yourself the question, that we as African Americans, we have millions of African American preachers. We African Americans are very spiritual people. We are intelligent people. We are educated people. So if we are intelligent and we are educated, we can be the top scientists. When you see Dr. Tyson, or when you see Barack Obama, or you see intelligent people in the world, then you look in the Buddhist world and all we have in supporting the people, you don't have one single Buddhist in the world that's noted as a pioneer for social revolution. The reason that you are not on top in Buddhism is because you have been relegated to a subordinate position by the Japanese organizations because they are racist people and they have a racist teaching and you do not have Buddhist teachings. Now, my lecture today is Nichiren Shonen would support the proud black Buddhist. Not only would Nichiren Shonen support the proud black Buddhist, Nichiren Shonen would be proud of the proud black Buddhist. Now, let us go into some study let us go into some detail. Now, I want, you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, why is it important that we have African American Buddhist teachers? In America, ladies and gentlemen, we have a culture of diversity. When you look at Nichiren and Choshu, they don't have black priests, they don't have female priests, 
They don't even have an African American that can even say anything because they disregard you and they disrespect you. Now, what you have in the SGI organization, you have a con job. I was a part of the SGI or NSA since 1974. And I live to see Daisaka Ikeda bring a new paradigm to Buddhism. What he did was got rid of all of the strong will African American members. And they replaced them with Japanese. And after they got rid of the Japanese, then they took these educated, so-called sophisticated black women who don't have no sense of culture and history. And they got these black women leading black people down the road of neutrality. And what I mean by the road of neutrality is that black women and black people in these Japanese organizations, you are so neutral that you don't have the guts and the courage and the inspiration to stand strong like Dr. Martin Luther King and insist upon freedom, justice, and equality in the Buddhist religion. Now, again, my lecture today is Nitrin Shonen would be proud of the proud black Buddhists. Now, let's go into the ghost show and let's begin to study and let me show you why it's important to have African American teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 2015. We live in a new day, a new era. What's okay to stand up and be black and proud? Dr. Martin Luther King stood up for stood up against injustice. He worked for freedom and justice and equality of all people. And the Japanese are not doing it. What they have created was a religion of Japanese nationalism to where they Japanese make themselves superior to other people. But let's get into the Go Show, ladies and gentlemen, and let me introduce you to something, and let me give you a compare and contrast as to how an African American, like myself, teaches Buddhism, and let me show you how the Japanese teach Buddhism, and you will see why it is important that we have Japanese teachers. Now, let's let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let, 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 let's. Let me go into it now. Now, in the Go Show, in the Go Show, let's it says banishment to Sado. Now, get your Go Show out. Look up the Go the, the, the Go Show banishment to Sado, and you would see the word Chandela. Now, why is this important, ladies and gentlemen? Why is the word Chandela important? The word Chandela is important because the Chandelas were the black people of India. And the Japanese are not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you that the Chandelas are the black people of India. You're not, you don't get to hear this. You need a black teacher who's going to tell it like it is. And the Chandelas were the black people of India. Now, I want you to be able to study. Go get your Japanese priest. Don't let him off the hook. Go get your SGI leader and discuss this matter about the black people of India and what the Nitrin Shonen say about the black people of India and how he it made the black people of India inclusive of his Buddhism, like the proud black Buddhist would be is inclusive of Nichiren Buddhism. Now, in the Go Show, Banishment to Sado, it reads, quote, Nichiren is the son of a Chandela family who lived near the sea in Tojo Awa province in the remote countryside of the eastern part of Japan. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen. Nitrin Shonen says he is the son of a Chandela. 
Now, what the Japanese is trying to do, they're going to make you say, well, he meant fish one. He didn't mean no fish one. Nichiren that shonen, a uh, Nichiren shonen rather, was a very learned man. He specifically understood what he said. He didn't say he was no son of a Fishwood family. He said he was the son of a Chandela family. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to go into the SGI dictionary. Let's look it up and let's see what the SGI say about the word Chandela and let's go into this. Let a black man give you some real Buddhist teachings. Now, this is what the SGI says about Chandela. A class of untouchables below the lowest of the four castes in ancient India caste system. People in this class have a corpse butchered animals and carried out other tasks associated with death or the killing of living things. The Maya Sutra mentions a Chandela who drives sheep or oxen to the slaughterhouse. That's a Nitrin. Nitrin declared himself to be a member of the Chandela class. Now, because he was born to a fisherman's family, that ain't because Nitrin didn't called himself a part of a Chandela class because he was born to a fisherman's family. This is some stuff that the SGI put into this thing. Now, uh, let's keep going further. In the letter of Benjamin Desado, Nitchin says, Nitchin is the son of the Chandela family who lived the seat of Toja, our province, in the remote countryside of the eastern part of Japan. In his letter from Sado, he describes himself as one who in this life was born poorly and lowly to a Chandela family. Through such statements, Nietzsche implied that even some of the lowest rung of society, such as himself, can inspire, can attain supreme enlightenment. Hence, his teachings is meant particularly for those without wealth or status. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the SGI they are glossing over this thing. Now, if I told you that I was the son of a slave, you would know that I was black because there were no white slaves in America. Now, when the Japanese tell you a class of untouchables but the, below the lowest of the four castes in India caste, in, uh, in ancient Indian caste system. Now, when the Japanese tell you this, they make it sound like this is some kind of job or this is just a particular status that you have. They don't go and give you or tell you the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. It takes an African American who understands what in inequality is to tell you the story about a Chandela. Now, when you listen to a Japanese tell you about a Chandela, they make it sound like it's a profession. Just like they make, it's like telling you being a slave is a profession. Let me tell you about the Chandelas, ladies and gentlemen. See, during the time of the Matabatra, the Great War, which is a thousand year war in India, there was a fight between the, Dravid the Dravidians, that was the black people of India, and the Aryans. Well, after the Aryans conquered the Indians, they set up a system. See, the Aryans did not bring women to India. They married the indigenous women. And so when they had their offspring, they wanted their offspring to be in the highest level of society. So when the children were born, their children were born lighter than the darker skin. And so what they did was they set up a system called caste. Now, if you agreed with the system of caste, you were called the Shutras. Because the first one was the Brahmins. The Brahmins were at the top. Karashutras Kar 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 were the, the, the uh, uh, fighters. Then you had the merchants. And then you had the sutras. The sutras were at the bottom. Now, 
if you did not agree with the caste system, what they did was they didn't even put you in the caste. You were an outcast. Now, the black people in India, the reason that you do not see the African because the African ran up into the mountains because he was not going to live under the caste system. And then you had some other blacks who did not agree with the caste. They made these people outcasts. Now, the Japanese don't tell the story of a caste system, ladies and gentlemen. They don't tell you the horrors of a caste system because the caste system would put American slavery owners to shame. At least there was some hope for American slave owner, but for the caste system, they had sanctified racism in the Brahmin religion. Now, if you were an untouchable, ladies and gentlemen, you could only wear clothes of dead people from corpse. You could only put on clothes of somebody that died and had a corpse. The only thing that you can own in the world, if you were an unt untouchable, you can own a dog and a donkey. And you can only come out in the evening time because your shadow was considered polluting. You had to tie a broom, ladies and gentlemen, to your ass and you had to sweep your steps because if you could not walk on the steps, of, an, of a, a, a chandela or the untouchable. You had to tie a, 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 a cup to you so if you spit, your spittle was considered polluting. Now, so when you could not spit on the ground, you could not walk on the shadow, you could not even leave footprints. And you could only wear clothes of dead people. Now, if a untouchable would even look at a Brahman. His eyes would be plucked out. If he heard the Brahman sutras or the Brahman teachings, coal iron should be poured into their ears. Now, they live the worst inhumanity against humanity in the world. Now, can you imagine Nitro and Shonen understanding the plight of these black people in India? And they were black people because you were the lowest caste and you were outcast not because of your ability, but you were outcast because you were black. And the Japanese do not tell you these stories. They don't tell you these things to this very day in India, ladies and gentlemen. Even though it's against the law to judge someone by caste, they still have the caste system in India. In India, where the SGI, the Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu, and all of the Japanese sets that go to India, you will never hear them say one word against the caste system because they support the Brahmins, just as Dasaki Kato, and just as the SGI and Nichiren Shoshu and Nichiren Shu don't say anything about racism in America, why they don't raise their voice? In 1967, in 1968, ladies and gentlemen, look at this picture. This is Tik Nohan, the priest or the Buddhist priest from Vietnam who fought. These people fought. Daisaki Kata did not say anything when Dr. Martin Luther King was getting his head busted. But now, after Dr. Martin Luther King has died and has made credibility for himself, SGI gives money and they buy out a guy by the name of Dr. Lawrence Carter who was the chaplain at Morehouse University, they gave this brother a whole lot of money. They gave Morehouse a whole lot of money. So that's how Kikeda could build himself up, ladies and gentlemen, by having an association with Dr. King because there is no record whatsoever of a Dasaki Kata 
or any of the Japanese sets saying anything about the in inequality of one human being against another human being. They talk this nonsense about they believe in world peace, but in actual practice, it's only a bunch of theory. And you black people should stand up and stand up and walk away from these STI, walk away from Nitch and Show Shoe, and walk away from Nitch and Shoe, and stand up and build your own organization. Let me bring this to a close. I want to share something out of the Brahman teachings to you black people. And I, I want you to see what it says. Now, this is the teaching, this is the teachings of the curse. It says, Trishanka was angered by the derisive laughter. He stood erect and said, If you and your father refuse to help me out, can I not find someone to do it? I will get help from someone else and perform the necessary sacrificial rite. The bold reply piqued the sons of Vashita. They said, Because you have turned a traitor to your guru, you shall become a Chandela. Immediately, King Trishanka lost his color and beauty. He became black. His hair became rough. And he indeed became a Chandela. His followers and ministers left in disgust. Trishanka's grief knew no bound. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what is taught in India, and this is the real, true Buddhist history. And you need African Americans to teach you history. Now, it was Nitran Shonen who says, I was born poor and lowly and a Chandela. Not, see, what the Japanese want to do, they want to make it sound that Nitchin calls himself a Chandela because he was born poor. He says, I was born poor and lonely in a Chandela because Nitchin Shonen identified with the black people in India. And if he identified with the black people in India called Chandelas, that means that's us. That's me. And that's us proud black Buddhists. Go study. Go learn. It's 2015, and let's make a change. We are the proud black Buddhists. We're the most best suited because we are the proud black Buddhists. Thank you very much. I'm Anthony F. Elmore, president of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. Thank you very much. Fighting in the world for freedom, justice, and equality, we're the best suited. We are called the Proud Black Buddhists. We are going to put you guys on alert in the 15th chapter of the Sutra where the Buddhists stop us on the earth. They don't try to attack us, who try to attack us. We are the Black Buddhists stop us. Dr. King, Malcolm X, and Nelson Mandela were Black Buddhists stop us. The one that was stop us that come from India. His name was Zachary Hill in Mecca. The old name for India is the ECB from the land of India called ECBT Yopia, a great man called Shakamuni Buddha. His great teacher was the Long Tun Sutra. The little sister teaches justice, freedom, and equality. We teach the people how to be free. The teacher of the Sutra, we're the best to suit it. We call ourselves 